Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do Bleach Chapter 554 review. Now, I got a lot of stuff to do today because I have two tests tomorrow that I need to study for and prepare for. Well, I have a lab exam and then I need to do an actual very, very, very hard 120, 2 hour and 30 minute test. Pure, pure math. And I'm like, oh, so yeah, I'm busy. But. I digress. This week's chapter of Bleach. I am surprised. I'll be because listen, when it came to the end of last chapter, I thought that Chung Du was dead. I'm like, because it was all this hype, blah, blah, like an icy too still. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, fuck, he's dead. Fuck, it's over. God damn. But, but, still alive. And is actually now in his, he's not actually going to complete holy form. Or as they say, uh, Volstandish. And, and that's actually the German pronunciation. But like the thing about it is, is that I was genuinely surprised. I'm like, yo, because Bambita going into her complete holy form, that to me, I, well, she's transforming right now. That to me, I thought was a little bit brash off the gate. I mean, granted, she's being surrounded by like, these two captains. I understand that. You know, Hiroko, who's actually a advisor. And then, um, well, Captain's just a title, so either way. And, of course, Komamaru coming. And I'm, I'm sitting here. He's coming in, the, in, in, in like, this badass new armor. And he, he's looking beastly. He's looking like a straight-up Spartan. And, you know, from the actual movie 300. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself... How much time do you train for? Like, I really need to find out how much time has passed. Seriously. That's one thing that I'm not going to let go until we get some clarification. Because some time has passed. That's obvious. Has it been a week? Has it been a few days? A few fucking hours? I don't know. But I need to find out. Because I like it's really, like, it's really irking me. It's irking me to the point of, like, I really want to mail Kubo and be like, bro, how much fucking time has passed? Tell me. Now. Now. Or I will fly. I will, I will use all the money I got, which won't be enough for a round trip, no. <laughs> so I'll be stuck in Japan. This is just some big black dude trying to make his way up in Japan. I mean, that'd be weird as shit, but whatever. Still, because I want to find out. I really want to find out how much time is passed. Seriously, like, it's, it's irking me to death. But I digress. I think that she jumped the gun. I really did. Yeah, I understand that she was being surrounded, and, she, and in fact... We have uh, Hiroko actually use his Sakanade. And the thing about that is that it was it was cool because the way Kubo actually drew it out, where he actually flipped the entire panel, and even the words were reversed. And then we have Hiroko talking about um, his Shikai, his Sampato. He even said that he was practicing how to speak backwards. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, whoa, that's actually pretty cool. But I think she did jump the gun. I think she jumped the gun. Yeah, I think she, I think she jumped the gun. That's simple. So, but that's the way it is, whatever, she's going complete holy form, and I mean, there's no even, there's no guarantee that the complete holy form is going, is going to be able to, like, reverse the effects, or ne negate the effects of his Zapato, Hiroko, so, like, there's no, there's, there's no evidence of that yet, but either she's doing it for defense purposes, so she can work out the whole flipping thing around, the, the, the whole inverted world thing, so, and, well, I mean, I'll, I'll leave it at that, to be honest, I'll, I'll leave it at that, oh, wait, no, when, when, when we backpedal, her friends were there, but now they're gone, so her friends may actually come in and help her, because when she was powering up, and she, because we don't know what her powers are exactly, but she's leveling areas, and it looks like the, her powers may be something to do with, like, fire, because when we saw, well, then again, we have Bazzy, but, so maybe it's like Reishi Blast. I don't know exactly like what's happening. But it's basically like she was talking to herself. Or she was trying to talk to her friends, but they weren't there. And there were these Shinigami on top of one of the building sides. And one of the guys had like his... Like this part of his body was like just gone. It was like erased. And like, there was like a blast going towards that building. And what we saw previous is that she was able to make... When, like, when she killed that one guy. You know, like when she started coming to my room and like... That one scene where, where, where everyone's like, yeah, like, they had sex, and then she killed her because she's freaky. 
whatever, because all the dudes got like, yeah, and no, 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 I don't know how you get, because she's like 15 years old, that's what's weird, either way, the thing about that is that she made like these holes in like these walls, several walls have these holes, and like they were like square, I believe, so her powers, I don't know what they are exactly, like they may be, because what, what letter was she, Bambita, Bambita Buster Bind, she's not B, is she like F or something, no, F is F, as not, um, I think she's E. I think she's E, and I think that E means a race. Don't know. Uh, yeah, I may be pushing it. I'm probably pushing it, but still, still. Now, when it comes to the other stuff in the chapter, first of all, Hitsugaya's Banka, we actually see it like from like a distance now, and when you look at it, it's the same shit. After all that talk from Cuba, what's different? He's mastered his bunker. It's the same shit. It looks the same. That's a, sta that's a damn shit. That's all I talk. It's, it's different. No. Look at it. Like, seriously, look at it. Well, can I show... You know, if you, I'll show you a picture here. Picture. Bam, boom. Look at it. And he still has those three little things on him. And he has the ice covering his wounds. And then he has the hotification add-on. But that's a temporary add-on. So... I mean, I guess the only thing that happened was that he got more powerful, but his look is still the same. So, I mean, maybe now those ice crystals are more than just timers. Maybe they're actual, like, attack weapons now. I don't know. But he looks the same, and honestly, it's a damn shame. I was hoping for, like, a full-on dragon to appear, like, Yuri Maru. Like, on like, like on his shows and shit. Like, yo, like, talking to him. Like, yeah, that's what I want to fucking see. That's some, some, some different shit. But no. He looks the same, the same ice crystals, the same depressing ass face, the same depressing ass white hair. It's the same Hitsugaya. Alright, fine. Whatever. He collapses, bam, boom, dirt nap. <coughs> and then it's like, Matsumoto can't get saved now, and Chung Du's a holy form, so again, Chung Du should just go over, cut their fucking heads off, or slit their throats, and then walk away. Those two dead. If Kubo can kill off a fan favorite character, that is a damn statement. That's a fucking statement. If he can kill off a fan favorite character like Hitsugaya, that is a statement. And my respect for Kubo, that would jump. That would jump. But let's see if he, let's see if, if he can actually do that. Because, and I, I doubt it. I really do. But we move on. We see that apparently when it comes to the other, so... Four total Quincy had stolen Bankai. Chengdu, BG9, Askin, and Bambita. Askin and Bambina, Bambita, also have their Bankais that they stole and returned back to their owners. Which means that they were able to take the pills and transfer one to Komamaru, wherever the fuck he was. And then they were able to transfer one to the World Cork Art Squad area, the Spirit Palace, whatever it's called. And give it to Byakuya. So. That's probably the reason why. Ichigo called Din. Because. Well then again it's kind of weird. Because when you think about it. It's like wait a second. I think that. Urahara in the last chapter. When he when they did the whole telepathic communication thing. I think that it says. Every person in the Seireite. In the Seireite. But. Obviously, Komamu was not in the Serite. And obviously, Byakuya was not in the Serite. But far, far above it. In the area of the Spirit Palace. So. Like, I, I, that to me is confusing. I, I, it's very confusing. I'm sitting here, I'm like, but wait a second. So, like, what? So, did they know where they were exactly? Did Urhar know where they were exactly? And then they transported the pills to them? But at the same time, he says everyone in the Serite, this is talking about all the captains that are engaged in combat right now, because the Quincy area is in the Serite. So. I don't know. Like, I, 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 I do not know. I'm just surprised, because I'm like, this shouldn't be possible. But yet it is. It's, it's happened. So. Done. Uh, I'm speechless, speechless, alright, we move on, 
when it comes to the end of the chapter, again, after all that you are talking, because you are, he's like, yeah, the Quincy, they are actually relishing this, they're enjoying this, because now, apparently, the people who actually had their Bankai stolen, which was only those four, their powers were limited because of that reason. Their Quincy powers were limited, because they had stolen Bankai. And mind you, the, the whole thing about the whole Quincy, Hollow Poison, that's also kind of weird, too, because for Bambita, and for Asna, they were not damaged. Their Bankais that they stole simply just left. They just upped and left. So, where was the whole poison? <laughs> like, no, where was all that? Don't know. But either way, I'm not complaining because that means that they can still fight in full power. Now, we see, and when you go back to the final page, what you see here, is well not, well not the final page, but like the like, se like the second to last page, where you see them all going in the complete holy form. We see seven pillars of Volstandish. Seven, okay. And you have to wonder, okay, so we've seen Bambita, we've seen Asna, we've seen Chengdu. Who else is going Volstandish? Who else? Who? What other Quincy is fighting in a battle so fierce, or is in a situation so dire? Where they have to use their Volstandish. Don't know. So, and this is all going on. While the other, while we were actually watching Story Farm vs. BG9. And the He vs. Hitchugaya. So, we don't know who's been fighting. But there's, but there's obviously been several battles throughout the entire course of the uh, Serete. So, the question is who? Who's fighting who? I have no idea. But what that could also mean is that there have been several deaths, off-screen deaths, that we haven't seen yet. Which would be really, really shocking and actually really cool. Because that actually raised the sense of danger astronomically. So I'm just looking forward to what's actually going to happen. I just, I just am. Because the Kubo is on saying that the Quinches are very strong. They're super, super, super strong. Okay, let's see if they're actually as strong as Kubo say they are. Let's see if they can kill off a lot of named characters, like some of the Visors, like some of the Captains, huh? Like some real fan favorite characters like Hitsugaya. Let's see how powerful the Quincy really are. So, and Ichigo calling in, what's going on, Urahara-san? And... I mean, again, to me, it's, I don't know, because it's like, you've been trained for like how long now? All right, no one knows. No one knows. <sighs> All right, I'm done. The chapter overall, I thought it was actually a good chapter. I thought it was a good chapter. Um, it wasn't like monumental. Actually, it, it is monumental. Fuck that. I was going to say it wasn't monumental. No, it is monumental. So, because they're going in, into complete holy form, and those who we thought were dead are not dead. And the tide is still in the favor of the Quincy. Even though the Bankais were returned to the original owners of those Bankai, the favor is still vastly within the Quincy's favor. Good. Oh, that's very good. All right. So, good chat. King Lightning, rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice day.